Gene Parenti from Golf Laboratories with a speed system tip. Today we're going to talk about ball position. This is kind of interesting. In our research of amateur golfers, what we found is most golfers swing on the downside of the arc versus the upside of the arc. Now, what am I talking about there? We don't hit a golf ball like this on a level or a linear plane. What we do is we swing a golf club and we go from negative to neutral to positive. Most tour players have between a neutral and a positive angle of attack. What does that mean? That means that they're hitting the ball either square or they're swinging up on the ball. That's why you see a player that has a seven or an eight degree lofted driver hitting these high moon shots because they're coming inside out and they're swinging up on the ball. Now, what do most amateurs do? Most amateurs do this. They rotate with their shoulder and they come down on the ball, having a negative angle of attack. The difference in angle of attack between going from a negative, say, now once again, let's remember, this is zero, this is negative five, that's positive five. From going from a negative three to negative four angle of attack to a positive three, positive four angle of attack with the same club head speed can be as much as 15 yards difference in distance. So here's what I want you to try on the range, of course, before you take it to the course. The ideal position to line the golf ball up on a driver is on your left heel. If you have a negative angle of attack and the best way, you don't need all these fancy launch monitors, you don't need robots, what you need is to find out what the status is of your tee once you've hit your shot. If you break your tee, you've got a negative angle of attack because you're coming down and you're applying force. If you have that, what I recommend is just start out and move the ball an inch forward in your stance. And when I say an inch forward, I mean an inch down range and hit a couple shots. And if you start getting comfortable with that and you start, you should see an increase in trajectory and also an increase in distance. And if you like that, move it forward another inch. Now there is diminishing returns if you move it too far. Um, some of the older golfers will remember Chichi Rodriguez used to have these super long tees and he would tee the ball up there. This is before the age of launch monitors and everything, but he realized that swinging up on the ball would maximize distance. We don't need to go to that extreme, but just an inch or two, you're going to find probably somewhere between eight and 10 yards increased in distance. But not only that, as you move it forward in the stance, most golfers have a wide open club face coming through. And just by moving it forward in the stance, you're guaranteeing that the club is going to close a little bit. So not only are you going to hit the ball higher and longer, but you're also going to hit the ball straighter as the ball is going to start coming back towards center line a little bit more or even slightly left. 